All right, boy. I'm back. <laughs> I got I, I got this one topic that I want to bring up tonight. Uh, that's why I want him to come on. <clears throat> but I know fight's gonna be in a few more minutes, and uh, yeah. our guest too. So they're probably gonna come around the same time. But me yeah. and you, we can hold it down, bro. We doing this for weeks. This is what we do. Man, come on, you know man. what I'm saying? Kawhi, Paul George, even though that's a bad example. So let's go. Yeah. MJ Pippen. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want to do it. I don't care. I'll be Pippen. I don't care. Pippen was nice. So <laughs> he really was. Nah, we just, we just gonna, we're going we're gonna to put some hope into our boys, Trey Young and, and Collins. Yeah, for real. Oh, let me send this to Tracy and see. Because he might change his mind. He might after he, after he reads about He come on like, hey. So <clears throat> huh? I was watching the Lupe and Roy show, right? Yeah, and of course that has slowly became my favorite one, like favorite podcast lately. Just to like watch, you know, let's do check it out. Lupe and Roy shows on YouTube. It's on Say What Media YouTube page. Yeah, but also they all across the audio places, same places that y'all hear us, the places I people that y'all listening to right now, because now y'all get people tales. The same place that you listen to right now, us right now, the same place you listen to them. Just look up the Lupe and Royce, Lupe and Roy show. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. And you'll know, you'll see it, you know, this. So, uh, this past episode for this week, uh, it was kind of a, a side comment, one of those kind of progressive, like, podcast comments was kind of like, it evolves from what they were originally talking about. Yeah. But it was toward the end. So that's when uh, Lupe was like, damn, I shouldn't have brought this up at the end. This is whatever. But he was yeah. talking about how the um, story of Jesus is let ask me Tracy just asked me just now he was like what's about so mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask you first then we can get your shit off I'm gonna explain to him so pretty much what he was saying was how how can I say it because I don't want to I want to put words in his mouth but paraphrase talking about the story of Jesus how like, Christianity is bigger than Jesus right the story of Jesus right and mm-hmm. he felt like um just curiosity is wondering and that's why I want to bring on Pastor Brown so we talk about too mm-hmm. Why did he choose to go and be the sacrificial lamb and, and go get crucified <clears throat> knowing that he could have lived to be 70, 80, 90, 100 or something years old and helped so many more people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, just by him staying alive. But yet he still chose to do that. And then, they, of course, they evolved from there. So, But I, me, being me, and I was like, oh, that's the prepo test. Thank you, Lord. So... <clears throat> I was thinking, like, wow, that's true. And he was kind of equating that to, like, violence. So he was saying, like, how a lot of these kids and stuff now, the young guys, perfect time, perfect time. Mm -hmm. These young guys was talking, you know, how they go killing each other and they wear these Jesus pieces, right? Mm -hmm. And he was equating that story because we glamorize the story of saying, like, hey, don't focus on what you got now. Yeah, Don't focus on that. Focus on the next life which we don't even know what that's like. We don't know if that's true. Yeah. And he's saying that that it should be changed from a perspective of instead of pushing the story of, oh, he sacrificed himself for all of us, so he died for all our sins, when it should have been, it felt like, what? He kind of, like me, I'm kind of wondering, like, why did he willingly go and get crucified? When he could have helped so many more people and then been along, alive for that long to where the point is where it's like, he could have, like I said, I always said, like, I'm going to create 100 billionaires, but, like, impact people. Like, it's, it's a domino effect. So, yeah. where, yeah, he died at, what, 36, right? Jesus died, what, 36, 33? 33. 33, because that's what Cole said, yeah. So, 33. He dies at 33 when he could allegedly. have. Allegedly. He was killed at 33 when he could have, you know, he's still alive, whatever. Christians don't come at me. But I'm just saying, <laughs> he could have lived to be 133. Yeah. And who knows what impact that would have had on the world today. As far as us not saying us being Christians, I'm just saying as far as like maybe we would have been more kinder people, maybe it would have been the message of it. You get what I'm saying? Cause yeah, I get what you're going for. Because I well, I'm kind of I'm going on a tangent here and I'm sipping a little bit, y'all, and I'm smoking. You know, yeah. so this for y'all. But it's gonna be a pre-pro tale. So you listen to this on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? There's some nice little vibe y'all can talk to each other and call us, hopefully. But that's why I want to know how you guys feel about it. Like do y'all think, do y'all kind of look at that as kind of weird? Like the story of Jesus, how it's pushed where it's like, you do all this, do all this, not for now, but for the future. 
And I, I, I kind of model my life like that, not knowing I'm doing it because I'm like, you know, I'm trying to do this for my nephew. I'm trying to do right by the environment for the future, or I'm trying to do good in this life. So when I die and go to heaven, but how do I even know there's a heaven? Mm. You get what I'm saying? So react, and I'm gonna tell Tracy this. So <laughs> it's gonna be heavy. Oh, that's gonna be deep. Uh, all right. Um, fights. I don't know if you want to go ahead or. We say the best for life. Bro, I just, I just chimed in. <laughs> it was perfect too, because I was just, I, I, you only missed like, like thirty seconds of the story. But what I was saying was Lupe Fiasco that on their podcast, uh, they he brought up how, because Christianity is bigger than Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. But and they pushed the story of like, oh, the, everything you do now is for the future. You you do you live right now, and you die and you go to heaven. I'm gonna become a martyr. That's what it was. He was like, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna go become a martyr instead of not choosing to die, and living how many long I'll live to help out as many people. Right? That's one. Boom. He was saying that he was equating it to how the kids now they have a lot of Jesus pieces. Jesus is the big thing. If you ask a lot of the people, killers, game bangers, all these things going on, they believe in Jesus. So they also look at what they're doing as, oh, fuck it. If I do this, I, I'll become a martyr because I either going to get shot nine times or live or I'm going to have nine bodies and be the man or go to jail for 200 years and be the man. So either way, I'm sacrificing myself. So I'm good at doing what I'm doing because at the end of the day, I'm going to get respected. I'm going to be the dude and whatever. Not looking at the fact that she's probably not going to be here physically, whether you're in jail or dead. Or that you're taking lives or shit like that, how that can be spewed. And he was saying that should we probably change the message of Jesus? Or yeah, that was one, change the message of Jesus. Jesus, that's one. And on the same time, the same question he had, which was me, was why did you do that? Why did you choose to be a martyr? I know it could say simple, simple because he died for our sins. If he didn't, then we'll all be da da da. But at the same time, to kind of what the atheists would say is, how do we know heaven or hell exists? All we have is right now. Uh, so I think the first part, the, the story should be clarified. Um, not necessarily the, the message shouldn't be changed, but just a little bit more clear to understand. Mm-hmm. Like that was one of the things as I got older with church, the, the message became more cryptic and difficult to, to decipher. And it was normally, it was normally put on me as a, what is it called when you go to church? Is it par- parishioner? I don't know. I'm not religious. Uh, oh. Or a cl- not clergyman. Or grandparent. Can my grandma and go? No disrespect, <laughs> grandma. I mean, no disrespect. <laughs> at all but whatever, <laughs> all whatever respect. Uh, it was like it was always put on the the people in the pew to make sense of the stories for them if that makes it like like every yeah. sunday you went to church the sermon wasn't for everybody it was for certain people mm-hmm. so you were fooling yourself into being like oh okay this was a good sermon even though it had nothing to do with you and didn't better your life. And even if you want to say, okay, in 20 years, you're going to remember this sermon and then you're going to go about life better. It's like, Mm -hmm. who's to say that's ever going to happen? Um, What was the second part again? I'm sorry, I'm still waking up. So uh, (laughs) one part of it was the the message and then- The uh, message, the how it's being pushed. Yeah. With the chains. It was, I don't know if I ever told this story, but um, I remember talking to one of my cousins who became a minister and I wanted to get, um, I wanted to make a charm and he was telling me I should do it because I was in the art. But I was like, I don't know what I want to put on my, is it called a charm? The thing to hang around your neck? Yeah. Okay. Pendant, right? Pendant, ch- pendant. charm, pendant, whatever. Pendant. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, well, why don't you just get like a, a crucifix or a Jesus piece? Jesus pieces had just came about. And I was like, I don't feel right walking mm-hmm. around 
with a crucifix or a Jesus piece that close to my heart, knowing that I'm doing the things that I'm doing. So I'm yeah. kind of like the complete opposite of what you were just saying with, with like rappers. Like I was conscious of, on, of my, re, my religious or Christian background and I guess stepping away from the church. And I felt like a hypocrite walking around with something around my neck that represented that. But I mean, I guess where I'm coming from and Lupe is coming from, maybe not, I'm gonna say me. Uh, I guess where I'm coming from is like that, right? For me, <clears throat> I, I literally have the cross on my arm, no weapon form against me shall prosper. That's a that's a cl- an excerpt from the Bible. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I have <clears throat> God understands me. So, but even then, like, oh what was these kids? They look at it like, what if they are looking at it from that perspective of like, dang, I could be a martyr, like Jesus, like, like look at King. They probably look at King Von's situation and be like, damn, bro. I want to be like Vaughn, not thinking about how much more of an impact he would make if he was still here. They look at Nipsey and be like, damn, I want to be like that. They look at Pac, Biggie, that's, which I, I do want to talk about the Biggie better. thing too. But Yeah, that was kind of better um, thing using Nipsey than Vaughn. Right. But I'm just saying, like, yeah, but would he be better what? here? Yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, like, I don't know, man. Like, me looking at that whole situation, just, um, First of all, I get to meet everybody got their own meaning behind it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, my meaning behind it is, you know what I mean? Yeah, he died for our sins and everything else. And, but it taught me that anything can happen. Life is not always promised. You feel what I'm saying? And not only that, that's God's son. You know what I mean? And he, he knew he was going to die. Okay, you know so I'm gonna take mean? it up a notch. I'm gonna take it up a notch because I feel like we're not quite there yet. Yeah. I'm gonna play the role of the atheist, right? All right. How do I know that God even exists? So you're telling me that I'm supposed to believe this story about this one man who was sent from this deity that created everything to earth to sacrifice himself for our sins so that we, when we die, we can go to a place that we don't even know exists because ain't nobody came back and told us that this place, like, yeah, it's great, just live right. We just going off what you know from this book. No, people have came back and talked about the afterlife. You believe that stuff? Yeah. I mean, I know where I've been on the journey and what I experienced. Um, and you seen heaven? No, that part no. But but I know like. I've had, I know I've had an experience to where I know other people that's been brought back with the paddles and they had an experience. And Do you want to elaborate or that's a touchy subject? Because I have it, I have a scenario also. Lightly touchy just because I just found out this person is dying yet again. All and right, they have so. no resuscitation. Um, All right, let me go ahead. Hit the, let me hit the, uh, the sad fight's gone. <laughs> Oh no, oh, man! My, no, just, like this. This literally just happened when I was that's back. A hard sag, that's sag. a hard. That's the wrong one. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm I'm so off. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that's the sad go. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do believe sag, people no, do <laughs> see things when they experience that. So I mean, so when you say uh, nobody has gone to heaven and came back to tell us, even if somebody did actually go to heaven or hell and came back and told you specifically you you wouldn't believe them because it it has happened like there's been interviews for decades now people dying and coming back there's been books written by people that's died and came back and you clearly don't want to believe it because you just said it's like well nobody's never done it but i'm pretty sure you you've seen those stories you're old enough to have seen interviews on like nightline or something like that yeah, of people that died and came back, and they told you their experience. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, no, no. This is where I wanted to go. This is exactly where I wanted to go. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? This is the Heatles, the big three. Yeah, Wade, Bosch, and James. You know what I'm saying? I like <laughs> this. I like this. I guess me, cause me and Tokyo were talking about. We were making a basketball <laughs> reference <laughs> earlier. Oh. Anyway, you'll see. Oh, wait, you'll know when you see it. 
to a depth is this person coming on because I'm listening to their music. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Right. You actually came on a little earlier than anticipated because he yeah. said he was going to be coming on around the same time. Cool. You All said right. you said it was like ten minutes, and he said fifteen. So All right. like, yeah, I was coming. Yeah, so. <clears throat> All right. I, it's, I interesting. My it's interesting and this is a true story another excerpt into my life that i don't want to reveal but this is a pod and i feel like we have an audience not fuck with them smoke this fuck with y'all have your eight man i have had an afterlife experience hey right uh luckily matter of fact that's why me and Kay are so close because she's one of the people that said, uh saved my life right hand to god so her aunt and then this other person i won't mention uh, so when I went through what I went through, it wasn't no St. Peter there. It wasn't no look at the light. It wasn't no seeing all the stuff I did in my past coming to fruition, whatever. It was one of those things where it was like, I didn't know what was going on for a second, but it was kind of like kind of like a dream, but it was like a dream, but like like this empty space. I want to say black space, but it's just dark. So it's just like this dark space. And I was just kind of confused. Like, I don't know what's going on. And before I can kind of start to gather what was going on, I came to. Mm-hmm. So I remember that. So vividly, because when I could have been out of here, that's one. But two, I started, and I came to, I started thinking about. Oh, no. Don't, don't tell me the roach came back. No. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I don't <laughs> know if it was like. Spears, where he, wherever he was, like, yo, you weren't supposed not, to say nothing. <laughs> I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it was. It probably was. Because I, I ain't seen anything. I don't know if it's like a, uh, my direct, whatever. But if one thing I thought of was all these stories about, I saw the light. And you know, from that point on, I stopped becoming, a, I stopped being a Nazi, uh, a Nazi street gang member. So you know, what I'm saying, oh, I left the kick it. Like it's all this crazy stuff. And the reason why I think that's funny is because how you just said that fights is what I come across. Well, it's not, it's not a liberal versus conservative thing, but a lot of liberals hit me with that. They'd be like, you wouldn't understand that because these are so many examples. Of cool. A, B, and C, and you just do not believe it, and I just be like, "But you don't know my story." That's what and I, was I feel like. That's what you. y'all try to do. Y'all try no, to take that what, to what y'all don't know, it. and then try to impose that on me and be like, "Well, I don't really know it." So I know he doesn't know it. So I'm just gonna say, "You don't know it." So you should just be skeptical, like the whole vaccine thing, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. but but that's that's what I was about to say before you you know went into yours because I was like, I know I've been talking for a minute. I was about to say, but. I don't know if you've ever experienced something like that before. Mm. So I don't. So I don't want to say. Why wasn't that your believe. first response, though? No, that should have came I, out your mouth no, first. That, right? that's, no, but that's that was me correcting myself. I was just like, well, maybe he's never watched these stories. Maybe he never came across it, or maybe he did and he just didn't believe it. Well, he he was playing the devil's advocate, and I thought y'all was you know going back and forth yeah that's yeah, that's what, no like that's a, that's a yeah. real experience i really am i take that like i initiate like the same way what lupe was kind of alluded to is what i feel right now i feel like and i'm not trying to criticize jesus mm-hmm. jesus i'm not trying to i promise you like you know my heart you know what i'm saying if you're real whatever like that that my true intention is just curiosity i think that's a great topic because it's yeah. like look how much look what it kind of branches off into you know what i'm saying like we could have yeah. went to the vaccine thing you know what i'm saying all this is relative, but it kind of goes back to the whole us wanting to be gods and wanting to be martyrs. And the things that we do, some of us do great things and do positive things, you know what I'm saying, in, in hopes of reaching this nirvana that we don't even know it exi- even exists or not. Mm-hmm. But I'm supposed to believe it because, you know, maybe Betty White or something. I'm just don't, maybe let's Joe Schmo, Joe America went yeah. on Dateline and spoke to Chris Hansen about it for 30, 45 minutes. And mm-hmm. he was one of like 20 people who had this experience. When not only well, take out the fact that I experienced it, but that I'm supposed to believe <laughs> that. But then you telling me 
that don't get this vaccine because it's got this tracker in it. It's the mark of the beast. Uh, 10 years from now, we're going to be mutants. Like, so <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I hate to be a player of a black Republican, but I see it got a little bit of response. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sticking with it. So as you can see, I represent. Uh, yeah. But I, um, <laughs> Maga Mo. But, but with the, the darkness that you experienced, and then some people experience the light, and then some people speak to somebody else from the afterlife. Mm-hmm. Maybe what you experienced was meant for later on in your life, or maybe it wasn't meant for you to understand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it, it is one of those deeper than what it than what it it is on a surface type deals. Yeah. I don't know, I'm talking to I mean, you, I guess. Just, I'm so my whole my whole thing, um just to get my answer, you know what I mean, get my answers out there. Um that's where it all falls in line at. That's why I was kind of like, you know, what I mean, with that question, it was more of hey, now I wanna hear, I wanna hear what you, I really want to hear you. Like, I want to hear your thoughts about it. My, my thought? Yeah, because you're like the KD of the group. All right, like, so I'm like the Kyrie, the you're the Katie, and he's like the James Harden. Yeah. <laughs> we the Brooklyn Nets. I, right, I know, um, I know the players, man, but I don't, I don't get the correlation. But okay, so Trust Kyrie, me, you'll, you'll like be James Harden. You're fine. <laughs> Kyrie. All right, so pretty much, um, how I see, because really, we just having the conversation of yeah, that's it. That's I it. mean, no, I mean, like, like having a conversation of life and death, and you know. God or no God, no God. That's why you can't. You know what I mean? That's why you so where I come at, I from a non-religion religious view, and what Tracy, you know, um and Pastor Brown say mm-hmm. say all the time, you know, you know, Christianity is not a religion. Right. right. So um from a non-religion well, they're coming back, they're coming back, and we're gonna talk okay. about this and that. Um, but from a non-religious view, to me, I look at death and life is is one of the other. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. who who says like in my mind, I'm, it's weird as mine. But who says that we're not dead now and living? You know what I mean? It's not weird, bro. It's not weird. Your you mind is your mean? mind. You know what I'm saying? That's what we yeah. should do. Like, I know we be talking about uplifting each other. Like, for real, we should really yeah. uplift each other. Like, I know, like, I was thinking about this shit, too. We were talking about, me and you told me, talking about on two pre-protests ago in the beginning. Yeah. How, about a voice. Yeah. And I've been thinking about that, too, and I was like, yeah, so, your mind is your mind, bro. It's not weird. Yeah, 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 out yeah. there, Like, how you think is how you think. Now, if you think about having sex with kids or, like, you know all that weird. But that's what I'm saying. If we had to put that. If we had to put that in there, it just still. It's that's still, what I'm saying. Like, yeah, there's a still weird. a staple of a weird and a, you know what I mean, like right and strange. I'm just saying that's that because I know this topic itself is not a normal. It's not a conversation that people have. Yeah, it's a thought provoking thing, and mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of your thoughts are thought provoking and they're not of the norm. But that does not make it weird. You get what I'm saying? I mean, to some folks, it's um to uh, uneducated, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, but um, yeah, um, just going back to you know, what I mean, my whole thing is just um, who says that we're not living in the afterlife now? You know what I mean? And waiting, waiting for a reincarnation to go back to a world that you know, what I mean, we haven't seen before or. This and that, uh, not going to no aliens like thing, yeah. but you know what I mean. No less. I love to go to aliens. <laughs> but hey, that's that's what I'm saying. Like it, it, it's it's a lot of things that goes goes along into life and death with me. Where I was like, that's to me I always known it as the great beyond. You know what I mean? It's nothing more or less than that. It's the great beyond because you never know what's going on. You know what I mean? What's there? You know, what I mean, no matter how many people can, you know, um, can be philosophical. You know, what I mean, about about you know religion and thoughts on the afterlife or how to live on this earth to be whoever. Who says that fucking being good? You know, what I mean, doing the right thing is the right thing. Like when we came to this world, it, it, it's everybody had a moral clock, and it was like, no, that's a bad thing to do. 
and you know that's you know what I mean no don't touch the stove or all this other stuff come you know common sense things but right. like who says that this was right then maybe we should burn ourselves or this and that know what hurt feel like you know what I mean <laughs> So we can build up a callus on what hurt feel like, or you know, what I mean, it, it to me it's just a whole. And I guess you're right. I'm, I'm playing the middle ground on this shit. Really, nah, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Yeah, like I'm playing the middle ground on the shit, but only because, like, I don't really know. You know what I mean? And that's Jesus, I, I, I and why that's Jesus? What it is. You know what I mean? Even with that, like, why Jesus? You know what I mean? He could have helped a lot of people, like he did, and you know. I think we would be better off for it. But then I see why God took him because if we would have had that, then that's just like, you know what I mean? We're keeping our training wheels on and don't know how to ride the bike. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Oh, this is oh, so happy. That was one of the things I remember uh, that I wanted to say. We're going to pod tonight. If Jesus stayed alive, we would have worshipped Jesus over worshipping God. No, you wouldn't. Because according to this, this story, he was preaching the gospel of God. He would never allow himself to do that. This man literally tore up a church because they wasn't following what he thought a church would be. He was saying, hey, church is where it's where you're at. It's not the building, you know what I'm saying? It's the people coming together all for one purpose, right? And now I know I'm not a theologist, yeah. whatever, or a Christian, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I'm just going with what I know. But at the same time, it's like. I think that's a I think that's a very plausible thing to say. Like, I think he still could have done this. He had he could have the same impact, if not more, with him yeah. just living and just be like, you know what? Just even talking to God and be like, hey, pops, I know you might feel like this is a way, and but the way I see it, I've been with these people for this amount of years, and. You know how he was talking to him when he was on the cross when he was being crucified? He did the same yeah. way. I just feel like I can give me more time. They you know? know not what they do. Yeah, but I, I just think... Right. right. I just, I believe it's, again, I know the, a scholar of the Bible or any other religious books, mm -hmm. but I just believe, like, we want to worship something so bad that in in the I guess what the book is saying we're supposed to worship God and not a any anything less than God than God any but, idols false idols or yeah but I don't, but I I, I don't want to say Jesus was a false idol but people would have instead of praising or or praying to God asking God for forgiveness or asking or thanking God for what they've their blessings it will always be thank jesus jesus can you help yes i i know that there's a mixture of that today but i, I yeah. believe more people look to god and they might have a visual of jesus in their head but they believe they're talking to god if jesus was still alive i always make this correlation you know you know what crazy you would have been, like, been like trump like you would have had a bunch of a bunch of people within a uh, religion, worship, worshiping one man and not the idea. That was right. But you know what's crazy? Even on the cross as he was dying, I'm not going to even put a legend on it. This is, I guess, I believe. Um, <laughs> the other two that was that was um, on the cross with him, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Around him, do came out of his, I don't know what happened, like, he came out of his coma or whatever, he was sitting up there, because they was up there before he was. Uh -huh. Um, And he was like, well, you know, if heaven is real, if this your father, then how, how do I get to him? Even on the cross, how do I get there? You know what I mean? And he was like, you gotta repent for what you've done. And with that, the dude was like, you know what? I have nothing else to lose. So out of blind fate, he did it. Now, we don't know the after the after story of the dude making it to heaven or hell, but you know. but you know what I mean? 
just from being on your last, you know what I mean, on your last and asking like, okay, you telling me this is real. I want to know if this is real. How do I get here? You know what I mean? And that's that's the thing that really got me in a bond with a lot of things in life and how people and how people see the world. And it's not a lot of individuality now. Like how it seemed, like how people think in a way. Or they scared to think the way they think um, behind closed doors in public. <clears throat> and this all ties together. Like with the Kevin Samuels thing. Like we had a conversation last week about women. How we were saying how there are women who are, they could be good women, but they'll sit back and just don't say anything. Or they just won't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, that's not like we're saying, oh, like we're, we're Greek goddesses, Greek gods, and you got to come to us and approach us and holler at us, whatever like that. It's just like, we don't know what the fuck is appropriate now. Like, mm -hmm. it ain't like we got a whole bunch of dirty jokes, but you get what I'm saying? It's like, y'all know how y'all are because y'all don't really fuck with each other like that. When I'm talking about women, Travis like, got to agree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Travis <laughs> got to agree. Saying how y'all really like to prefer have more male friends than female friends because yeah. you know how females get. So can you apply that when it comes to us to be like, all right, if I like this guy, obviously he doesn't know because if mm. he knew that's something different, completely different. But if he doesn't know, why don't I make it to a point to where I let him know? Yeah. Instead of just being quiet and figuring and out. And then not only that, just that let him know work. and accept the answer that comes with it. That too. Because a lot of people, a lot of people will hate the fear. They have the fear of rejection. And be like, I don't want to ask because if I get rejected, if they if they said no, then that's the end of my world. Because that's I put a, that's all what my, I'm talking my about right now. work behind it. We have the answer to that right now. If you get rejected, you're not going to die on the spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we have that. But we, but yet, instead, we shy away from that and we kind of still go into our whole... Like, but they go they back to atheists, too. But because... we're going to... We're gonna be good people. I'm not trying to get to turn this to, to turn this to the purge, y'all. Okay. Yeah. I'm saying we, we're really being good people <laughs> for something that we don't even know exists, fam. We could be reincarnated, like you were saying earlier. Yeah. So it could be this whole big day after tomorrow shit with Tom Cruise. I'll be mad. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like the reincarnation thing. I'll be mad. One term on earth is good enough for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm tired of y'all niggas. But it's like, wait, so the thing is like. I always, I think we had a conversation, I think it was in middle school or high school. It was like in between classes. And we were sitting there talking about, I was like, damn, so what if, like, Christians, right? It's more Christians on the planet than anything. What if Allah is God? You know what I'm saying? What if what if Islam is the right way and we get there and they ain't really on, they ain't like, mm, fam, you know what I'm saying? Or what if it's Buddha? You know what I'm saying? What if it's Tom Cruise? What if it's Oprah? I feel like what everybody got a piece of the truth. And I'm about to say, I yeah, we, pretty much we never you said. I think everyone is in line. Like the, there might be the subtle differences between the religions, but they all kind of preach the same message. Or you know, we we don't know we don't know parts of that other religion, and we haven't got to the point of coming together and finding those similarities, or not saying similarities, but finding. Out okay, you know this bit bit about that I didn't know, so share that you know around the table like breaking bread, pretty much. No, they they do that. It's just that when if you truly believe in in your belief, a lot of the times you're not allowed to believe in something else. You're not you're not allowed to even have a conversation about accepting someone else's religion. Your religion says, is says only, who says who their their, their book. Like, no, and that's why I start off by saying, if you truly believe in what you believe, mm -hmm. and you know this is the only way you're going to get to heaven, then you can't even entertain the conversation with another religion. Because that goes against your belief. So if you entertain it, you're saying that you're questioning your belief and you're a God. Mm -hmm. Let it be God, Jesus, Mary, uh, Allah, Muhammad, whatever. Oprah, like, Tom a lot Cruise. of the times in these major religions, you're not you're not allowed to have those conversations. I just believe religion is is a way of control, but it's built on some truth. But it, and that's and that's that's where you know what I mean where I say I've, it fall in line back to 
you know what I mean? But, but the conversation is being had, though. They, there are conferences where different religion, different, uh, more open-minded religious heads sit down at these big tables and they have these conversations in the in in looking for um the betterment of all mankind yeah so why don't we do it right now us three because <laughs> we're, we're on a roll right now this is this you know what i'm saying these guys going for 50 so why are so why can't we just not say preach why can't we just glamorize the fact is we should be good people and kind to each other and kind to this earth and the animals simply because that's the right thing to do because you only live once like right now let's stop trying to do this future incentive whatever like that because i feel we got so much shit that we put our blind faith into Mm -hmm. why can't we just when it comes to like religion be like hey because it's the right thing to do you don't want nobody like don't go shoot somebody because you don't want to go shoot and kill you don't go disrespect. Don't go fuck nobody's wife because you don't want your wife to get fucked. You know what I'm saying? It's things like that. I'm not married. Or oh, fuck your girl. It's the same concept, bro. Like, why are we saying, listen, you shouldn't cheat or you shouldn't lie or you should com- you shouldn't commit robberies or whatever or do whatever it is that's foul because when you die, you can go to hell. It should be like, no, because you can go to jail or you can just die and just not be here and not see grandma and not get head from the the uh the, the hooker the five dollar hooker on the corner she, she's, a whore. she's a whore she's a whore sex worker sex oh. worker so <laughs> whore <laughs> so <laughs> but you get what I'm saying like mm-hmm. why can't we just because I feel like that'll be that will get through to a lot more people than telling them hey man I know it's how hard right now but when you die, I tell you, then this shit's gonna matter. Cause then they're gonna be like, cause to me, cause to me, I because to me, like just me being cynical and high, just going down that rabbit hole is like, and people would be like, if I was the type of person that was like super into something, super into religion, then I'd be like, well, why don't I just kill myself then? Because mm-hmm. if life is hard and it's tough, I'm gonna just get myself on ball here. I want to go to the promised land. No, but that's the sin. That's like the ultimate sin. Cause you can't ask for forgiveness for it. And why is it the sin? Why? What's wrong about? Obviously, people who listen. I yeah, have friends who commit no. suicide. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. I'm not that guy. I did a whole thing with suicide awareness. That's not me. This is conversational. And we're not saying anybody else should. You know what I mean? Right. This is this is all conversational points. Um, what's wrong with that? If you don't, this I've, is the ultimate I've asked goal. That question if, before. If that's the land of milk and honey. And they're telling you, and you're pretty much, you believe in that's the ultimate thing. And it's just like, no, but you just got to stay here and rough it out. Rough it out. Because you're going to be good then. I'm like, well, why not just skip that and go over there? No, 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 no. You can't do that. Why? And that and that why hasn't been answered. If that was the case, then we should not be born. I, I, I've had this conversation multiple times. <laughs> And I've said a lot of things that you guys just said. It's just like, well, if if God is God, then why create a soul to be tortured in hell for all eternity? That is true. You're you're all knowing. You know the past, the present, and uh, the future. Mm-hmm. So you know when you created me, I was going to be a pedophile, murderer, rapist, genocidal, uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hell. I am destined for hell. There's nothing in my path of a life that's going to change my trajectory. You created me to suffer for all eternity. Why? Mm-hmm. So you, cre- and I think I've said this before. It was like, well, some, I believe some people are put on this earth to show you what not to do. So in his great wisdom or I her great that. wisdom, a soul was created to save many more souls. That's but that that's that, train, that's that train um situation, like test situation um thing what where um so there's five people on one one side of the track mm-hmm. and it's a and it's a 
and it's like one person on on uh, on another track, and you have the switch, you know, the switch control to control oh, wherever the right. train goes to. Would you kill one to save many, or would you kill many to save, save one, one life? Yeah, but the one life, like the five lives, were strangers. The one life was like your girlfriend, wife, yeah. kid, someone yeah. close to you. So would you save someone close to you and murder five strangers, or would you save? five lives and you know basically hurt yourself yeah mm -hmm. now but i said along that to thing. answer that question because I, I ain't heard that that's dope i would love to have that conversation but to answer that question me personally just to be completely honest i would say the person that's closest to me you might say oh that's so horrible y'all would do the same thing but anyway uh you just behind closed doors you know if nobody was looking even if everybody was looking if that's someone who cared about you and they were sitting on one railroad track and you had five complete strangers whatever because like y'all know y'all got the person you love because i mean you walk around with no mask anyway so <laughs> i you know, you know the crazy thing the the cheat code to that question because a train can easily go off track but that that's not that's all right but i want so to play along. Along. But I want to play as a uh, like you can easily, you know, what I mean, make that switch go straight. And you can't, you can't make a train go straight on a track. It's a track for a reason. <laughs> but <laughs> that's, that's not a part of the. You, stuff. Have like, you ever seen? Like, have you ever seen like the 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 the, the rails as you switch to on? Um, uh huh. Yeah. So I mean, why not? It's not a, like a full lever that goes okay you gotta go all the way down you know what i mean it's like like a fucking light switch like you know how you flip a light switch it's, it's designed that way when when you see stuff like that in movies it's dramatized uh -huh. and, and and when it does actually happen in real life there was a malfunction with the the contraption the mechanism yeah. like it's, it's designed when you move it it's going to go one way or the yeah, other you, right. you can't control it to finagle it just right yeah. and even if you do one of the tracks is going to stay one of the the so it, it, call, it's going to stay on one it, track it, or the it, other yeah, yeah. It's, it's not going to completely tip my out. knowledge of trains guys I, well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but 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 not going that deep into it that's not a part of the no, let's. we got a couple minutes for our guest comes in so yeah you're you're, you're given a or b there it's supposed I, to be thought provoking. It is. It is. Because like it goes that. into okay, well, would you uh like take five organs out of one person that you love to save five lives, or would you like kill five people to save that one person? Like it, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a bunch of different scenarios that they come up with, and it's all pretty much the same thing. But I mean and I was talking to someone about this earlier, a very intelligent female. Um, and she agreed. And she pretty much said the same thing, it was just a different way. And when I pointed out to her, she agreed. We are so stuck on the hard black and white of life mm -hmm. when it's more gray to life than, <laughs> than mm -hmm. any of that. It's a whole lot of gray. You know what I'm saying? But, and we seeing concrete and hardcore examples of gray happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, this first time this happened. Oh, this happened. This is all this. And da, 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 da. But yet, we still go off the whole, like the, the left and the right, not saying like nothing right politically, but like that hard line of these boundaries, like nothing is going to happen. It's all in that box. You can't ride the fence. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, what? The thing? You can. I was about to say life is defense. It's the gray. Right. So why do we put it to the point where it's like, it'd be like, all right, well, to be realistic, honestly, truthfully, my answer would be, I'll probably jump in front of the train and let it run over me. And hopefully that'd be enough to stop me from That's taking out both. You know what I'm saying? That would be my true <laughs> honest answer. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was see, I, well, I see, that's that's that decision. It's just that that's the type of person I am. Yeah. But you know well, see, saying? that's that, um, thing where okay you kill your life but the person that that close to you you know what i mean what the, you know what i mean they but why would i do that but why would i do that because jesus died and sacrificed himself mm -hmm. so we are for the betterment of people 
And exactly. if I'm yeah, trying to be a good person to go to heaven that I don't exist, I'm willing to sacrifice myself. Yeah, you know? but why is that? It, it has to be genuine, from my understanding. You can't do it just as a way to get somebody to heaven, knowing that if you do it, you're going to go to heaven. Like, it, like it's, it's, I know it's written in there to where, like, God knows your heart, obviously. Mm-hmm. Well, obviously to those who believe. Right. So if you're only doing things to only get into heaven, then you're not going to get into heaven. You, it has to be in your heart to want to do things, good Pretty things. Willingly. Yeah. You can't just be but, doing it because the book told you to do it. It's like, no, the book is giving you the, not, I guess the rules, but saying like, hey, this is how you should be. And if you're not that way, you know, you, you can work to be that. And if you do it, you get to heaven. It's not saying if you only do these things, you're going to get to heaven. I mean, if you do these things, knowing that that's how you're going to get there, you're not going to make it. That's why my favorite song for E40 is Choices. I love that. <laughs> like, yeah. it, it, it tells you what, what you're here for. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody got choices. The, the same reason why we're questioning, you know what I mean, is there a heaven or hell or this and that, or why would God put, put you know what I mean, you know, pedophiles and bad people here and this mm-hmm. and that is the same reason why he gave us choices. Even though he knows the outcome, he still gave us choices to choose. You know what I mean? How, I guess, we go about life. And even then, to go all, to kind of continue off that, he created us in his image, right? That's what the word says. So I'm not saying that he's a black male or a white woman or an Asian man or, you know, uh, Indian yeah. woman. He was a I'm human saying, figure. Right. So if I know I'm liable to be, like I said, I'm the, I'm the most, I try to be the most upstanding dude you'll ever meet. But it'd be sometimes I just want some pussy. It'd be sometimes I want some hate. So I just might not make the best decision. Does that make me a bad person? No, but knowing what you did was bad and not acknowledging it or asking for forgiveness for it, from my understanding, then yeah. Right. So what if I turn around and then do it again? Ask for forgiveness. Like, it, it has to be in your heart. Like, it has to be in your heart. Like, you know what you did was wrong. And if you were in the, the moment, like, if you killed someone, or let's say you robbed someplace and you went to jail. Robbery is a, a sin, right? You like, got you know, Android, right? Not to cut you off. You got Android, right? Yeah, all my phones are Android. I'm trying to help our guest try to get on here. Ah, oh, shit. He said, so you going to ask the old man? I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> you see, it's keep pop, popping up on the browser. The browser should be. You have, he got to have it out. Yeah, he got the app. It should have automatically. It should have automatically. Yeah, I was gonna say I just click on it and I just it just loads itself up. Did either one of y'all two listen to his music? I, I listened to the first song. I mean, well, the only song guys seen on there. Yeah. I mean, and then I and that playlist that he liked is in there too. That's all I was saying. It was songs with him featured on there. Yeah, song yeah, like that. Okay. and a whole bunch of features though. But I was looking for more songs. With he had him. another song that they're gonna play for us tonight. I'm gonna cut this up. Um, but they have another song that okay. they're play for us today. Because I'm, I'm going to have to go off of y'all. I, I was listening to it earlier, and I think I made it through, like, one song before I had to uh, leave out. And then when I came back, I just blacked out. I just passed out. Sure. And I, I was just sitting here trying to listen to it while we were talking. And well, let me I think, see. I'm I think it went to the playlist. If y'all want to continue, if y'all want to continue this, uh, if y'all want to change topic or not, but we can kind of punch back in and y'all can continue, and I'm going to try to help them try to get in. Yeah. Real quick. All right. Real quick. All right. All right. So, hold on. All right. So I'm going to go and I'm, I need to watch these episodes because I know I put on the nightcap and I kept hearing my fucking name. Oh, shit. <laughs> in the beginning, I kept hearing my name and I was just like, I wanted, I was in the bathroom and I was like, Man, what the fuck is going on? What did I? All right. Okay, cool. It's cool. All right. <laughs> I got, I got to watch right. it. Well, all right, I'm gonna tell you what it is because, like, it ain't we we're just doing our normal thing. But all we was pretty much no, bring no, it up was, here. um, what we were talking. It was something about, uh, it was something about hip hop, obviously. 
Mm-hmm. Well, no, the only thing I heard was that I was like my my rants, and then it was it was something else after that. But then I just I know back. I said I said once All you right. get into you, once you get into your All mode right. of of talking, I was like that's when I start eating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I don't I know when the I know I know when you get into that mode, I'm like okay I got time to you know feed my fucking face. <laughs> No, but I do like that you took my role and was checking Carnage on his, uh, I guess the best way of saying is like his use of trash. Yeah. You know, talking about music and like things he didn't like, but then we all started questioning him on it. God damn, both my phones going off. Um, uh, His his Drake bias. Yeah, started, but but he started naming y'all started naming off tracks, and he was like, "Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, oh, okay." And I was like, "Well, then, what do you mean? Like something is trash or didn't like this?" Yeah, but no, I mean that was my whole thing because, like, for me, I'm a Kendrick fan. Like, I'm a, I'm a solid Kendrick fan, but I know I can listen to anybody else and be like, "Okay, I can enjoy their album." Right. You know what I mean. And not and and know when you know even some even as a Kendrick fan I could tell you for a lot of applaud that Sabimpa Butterfly got. No, I'm not gonna even do it because that was still a good album, but Good Kid, Mad City was way better. You know what's funny? I meant to say this on the other pod. Kendrick is on my list of people that I don't like to listen to because because of his voice. Yeah, because he he has that high tone voice. But you see, so, you see that's my so, argument with on uh, little baby when we were talking about it. Like I can't. That what we were saying. Yeah, there, and I, I heard said, that part. Yeah, I heard that yeah, part. Like like little baby. Like everybody that. That's why I didn't really want to put him in my you know top because if I can't listen to him throughout a song. How can I get through an album with him on there? You're saying for like the the decade thing? Yeah. The top three? Yeah. Yeah, like how well, can no. I? And, um, it's, and many other folks that think like me too. Like, no, I'm with you. Because I, I, I kept saying that about him. But it's not every song. Yeah. And so that's why I'll, I'll wait for him to put his headphones on. So I can say this one. <laughs> and hopefully he's not thinking. All right, so... <laughs> so like well I was just about to say to Tokyo was um and you're gonna hear what I just said anyway but uh <laughs> like the thing with little baby was he he is st- still difficult for me to listen to like I was listening uh, to the to the little dirt mm-hmm. and little baby collab and it was just playing in the background as I was cleaning up and I think I made it to like the fifth song and I was like all right I gotta cut this shit off I couldn't tell who was who and it it, I couldn't hear what they were saying. And then not only on top of that, by me being the generation I am and the region of the country I'm from, I don't understand the ling- the lingo all the time. Nigga, I but, am I, I I'm Atlanta to the core, <laughs> and I fucking did not understand half of this shit. Yeah, but I mean, but, <laughs> no, but yeah, you are still you still from the same generation too. Oh, but but I'm the same way with someone like like a Royce oh, of Five Nine, like Royce would get in his bag, and he'd be bringing up all these different societies and different cultures and these different artists, like legit mm. artists and prophets. Sure. I'm like motherfucker, like I got books, but I ain't got books on fucking philosophers and like I got to study on. What you, I got I got I need pencil and paper and Shit. take notes. Like we told you about Goody Mob and fucking Andre, mm. drop same ass knowledge, and they yeah, but I put it. He does it differently though. Who, baby? No, uh, Andre. Well, maybe. Well, late later on in his career, he he was a, a lot deeper. But I believe if you follow him through his career, like it was, you you knew what he was talking about. They had. That's still shit that Andre says now on songs that I pull up. That yeah, from like the recent. early albums, that's like right on par. I think because and that's the thing with 3K is 
Damn, I, just wish, I just wish he actually had years. Years. I actually wish he had like a solo, another solo album, like by himself. That way he can be considered the, the greatest because he does have those type of records, those bars where it's like deep, thought provoking. Um, I, yeah. can, I can point out verses from Aquemini, um, Southern Player Catalytic, even in that. Um, yeah. players ball. The shit yeah. was saying was the same shit they've been on, the same shit Goody Mob and they've been saying it from the rip. I just think that it wasn't her till later on in his career. But I'm jumping in on what y'all talking about. Oh, we talk, talk about, about the, the, the it's, it's like a lot of feedback or stuff. Oh, yeah, it's like a lot of feedback. Is that something playing on playing in the background? Uh, I got the I got the two uh the fucking NBA playoffs on. We can, um, I can I can barely hear that sound like it's a uh or my air conditioning. Oh uh, yeah, that might be it. Um, you got headphones like that you um canceled out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me let me run and grab them. I got my my drawers that I use for Twitch. Hold up. All gotcha. right, Twitch. Perfect. <laughs> With, even with that, you know, Andre, Andre, but then with Royce, like you said, Royce will kick it to you in a way that you be like, damn, I can, I guess in the region, like you said, it's regional. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Even with Royce, he'll say like seven bars back to back. Every bar, I'm like, like that shit rhymed. It sound hard, but I think, oh, like, shit. I think I'm a smart dude, but I, I want to know. Yeah, that way you're better. Yeah, yeah, yeah better. that's the end. You good? You can hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's perfect. All right, all right. That's perfect. So what we was talking about, um, well, well, all the right way from, yeah, right from the beginning. To kind of go know. back was, I said Kendrick, and I'll put M on this too. Kendrick mm-hmm. and M are on that list of people that I have a hard time listening to. Really? So remember I was saying like with the, 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 the sound of the voice. Yeah. It's like I remember going back maybe a year or so ago, Wanted to listen to some OM. I was like, damn, I, I used to listen to this shit. Because mm-hmm. the, the sound of his voice yeah. it irritated my ears. But the same thing with Kendrick. I, I put understand. Kendrick on my list of greatest, some of the greatest of all time, but I'm not a fan of his music. Like I don't listen to it to be someone like a Tokyo. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not faithfully, I don't faithfully listen to like Kendrick Graham, like M, but I know the old M shit I'd rather listen to than the new M shit. Like, he was way more creative back then than he is now. Yeah. Like, now it's just like, <clears throat> I'm trying to wrap circles around these niggas. But back then it was more like, he all right, I got, a, I got a vision. I got a vision. You're going to see my vision. And well, he had a story to tell, too. You know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 get out of my head. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that. Well, nah, yeah, that's what I say. He I got, like a, he got a vision on it. But, I mean, all right, so I ask y'all this for those who ain't. And I'm not trying to turn atheists into believers. Shout out to Kanye and Tokyo said that last week. But uh, uh, matter of fact, his birthday just passed, and Tokyo's birthday just passed uh, for the last Yellow Tape episode. So happy belated birthday, hey. King! Oh shit, happy belated birthday! Happy belated! All right, Thank so how do y'all feel about Okumina by Outkast? Y'all like that album? Oh, you know I love it. I'm being right. biased. This is for these two. This is for these two. <laughs> do y'all like Okumina, or have y'all heard Okumina by Outkast? It's not I... my favorite out of their catalog. Is Me, favorite? and I was going to say the same thing. I ain't listened to it in depth. Like, I ain't listened to, like, the whole tape. Mm. So, so that's your least favorite? I can't say that because I ain't listened to the whole tape yet. Mm. So What about you, Vikes? I could pull out some of the singles from it if you kind of jog our memory. If that's uh, is, that, is. is that the one where it's a uh, double CD? Nah, that's, nah uh, that, that was, was speaker box. It, it was the cover. Okay. Yeah, love. I was no, about to say that was okay. love. That's my shit. Right. That's I fuck with it. Uh, so, so this I one like, has Rosa Parks. I like, um, the art of storytelling, part one and two. Spotty Addy. Spotty Addy double issues for those who don't. Spotty Yeah, Spotty. Yeah, Spotty. Hey man, that's my favorite. Yeah. That's this is my favorite album, yeah. bro. Out of them guys, so I had to be. Real. I know, I know, but I'm, I just want to know. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that Rosa Parks? Yeah, that, that wasn't, that wasn't my, my Everybody favorite. Everybody moved to the back right. of the book. Right. So that no, makes that sense. Yeah. Only why I brought it up. I, I'm about to say, I'm like faintly on I can tell y'all from down south. I can yeah, tell that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So the reason why I brought that up is because... ATL to, is my favorite out of all of them. Okay, ATL is right. That's Kendrick. I give him that. Kendrick, Kendrick is Aquemini and ATL and Pac. Why? 
yeah. all put in together. That's Kendrick. But so now that y'all say that y'all really don't fuck with equipment I like that, it makes sense. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is the sound of his voice. You remember? That's what, remember I'm, saying. Was, I, that's what yeah. I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about like that. I'm talking about him. Like he. I get what he's saying. Like the unorthodox. Right, that vocal, that sound of that kind of like the da, house da, all da, over da, the range. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Da, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's Aquemina, AT Aliens, and Pac all put in there, and that's Kendrick. <laughs> like how Kendrick would like, I'm gonna follow my feet and make it follow my head. You know what I mean? How he be like, like he just be breathing, yeah. you know what I mean? Hard and try to get that last yeah, word. I, I just, how about this? For this weekend, but that's yo, the West yo, Coast yo, style of them hitting the pocket. So, exactly. You mean? That's it. Go back and listen to those albums and then go back to listen to Kendrick from just even just pick out one track from one album, one track from Good Kid Mad City, one track from To Pippa Butterfly, one track from Damn, and listen to Control. Now go back and pick a couple tracks from Quimini and AT Aliens. And let me try to pick a pop joint. I, um, I, don't, I don't think you get what I'm saying. Me and Gets the World and that. But I'm saying like sonically, I'm trying to tell you like how he sounds. like. Yeah, Tell I don't me. like this. I don't like nasally talking. I yeah, there you that's, go. That what he that's annoying. All right. It ain't the pocket. It ain't the <laughs> right. it ain't the cadence. It's the the same reason talking from your, But if if it's someone like Andre three thousand, when he talks, he still when he raps, he has a little raspiness. It breaks it up. Yeah. Remember, I was saying like I like Dej Loaf, but she sounds horrible to me when it's not a bass heavy track. Yeah. But you, you fuck with a boogie? You saying? But, but you fuck with a boogie? I said that about a boogie, a, a boogie with the hoodie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said that about him. I only like him when he features. I can't listen to a whole track of a boogie. Oh wow! What? Because, because See, of the, because that's of the how I feel about little baby though. But it's yeah, that's yeah. how I feel about that's how I feel about little baby. Though. It's like but, it's like I'm on it. certain tracks with baby though because sometimes on some tracks he do. You mean? That's what, and that's what we was getting to. Yeah. Well, my thing is I had him as number one. And I figured out who's going to be. So yeah, my new three now is J. Oh, Cole. I don't, think, I don't think you know. J. Cole number one. Wait, so y'all picking your top three? Oh, so last week we was talking about uh, the top three who's going to be. So you know how last decade it was Kendrick, Drake, Cole, right? Yeah. And I was, so what we was doing was trying to anticipate who was going to be the next big three for this one. And last week I said it was Baby, Lil Baby. J. Cole, and I want to say, who was third? Who's my third one? You said Drake. Drake. Those was my three. I want to reverse change the order. Cole, number one, all season classic. I don't give a fuck. Get mad at me all y'all want to. <laughs> Call in the comments. It's a classic. I'm trying to tell y'all no skippables. So I got Cole, and then I got I got Lil Baby, and I got Drake third. <clears throat> Wait, well, for the mention, decade? You got, you got Drake running behind Baby and for the decade? I can't, bro. That's I can't. Because what we heard so far from both of them, Baby's been on the run. Lil Baby's been on the run, whether people like him or not. He's been on the run, and he's been Yeah, of album. course. His album right now is came out in 2018. It's still in top 10, along with Pop Smoke, Recipes Pop Smoke, which we're going to talk about the Migos album and the Yellow Tape, and we're going to talk about Wales music and Yellow Tape also. Because I'm going to talk my shit about Migos because I try to tell niggas. But anyway, so the whole point was like, Drake, yeah, he put out the you know the, the three pack, the scary hours, and it was dope. Yeah, that was that was a little but EP. I but like his luck, little baby killed him on his killed him on his own shit. Yeah, so yeah, hey, but, about, yeah. and his verses, he, he was on the, he's on everybody's shit. He kills it. He kills it. Where Drake is like, I think his he did the seeing green shit which was hard pause, which is hard, and that's that's a hard verse. Even though I think Wayne got it now, I think Wayne had the best verse on that whole track now. Which is tough. About? Seeing green. It was Nikki, oh, uh, Drake, Nick and Wayne. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll say Wayne. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne. Because I, I listened to it that, that that's thing. I'm about to say, that's that. a given. That, that's a given because that was our era when we was growing up. That's a given. But you that's mean? a Wayne yeah. beat in instantly. Anyway, right. right. I was about to say. But, any, but, but what is Drake. not a Wayne beat if you really think about it? True. I, listen, where you gonna, wait, wait till y'all hear where I got him on my top 25. I don't want to hear nothing else. I'm trying to tell you that's the best rapper alive. Doesn't mean he's number one on my top 25. But I'm telling you, y'all going to be shocked when I got him. But I'm trying to tell you, Wayne is, Wayne is that dude. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and transition over to Yellow Tape. Yellow Tape. You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for checking out the people's tales real quick. Salute to y'all. Uh, yeah. So 
uh, real quick. For those who are just pre potel listeners, whatever, like because we have audio and video also, Wells. Yeah. Uh, you want to give them your info real quick, just in case they don't listen to nothing else we put out this week. <laughs> All right. So um, you know, I'm a I'm a aspiring artist from up in the Pennsylvania area. You know, I go by Wells underscore 2K on SoundCloud if anybody listening. Um Wells with a Z. Yeah. We have a we we got a catalog on there now. Um, and we have a tape coming very soon. Um, and when I was going to join the Zoom call tonight, I wanted to join you guys when I was actually in the opposite room of the studio because I just came from there. Yeah. And I was going to preview some new shit that we was cooking up today and then introduce y'all to the whole team to have, you know, let y'all know of the other artists that I work with, my engineer, the the beat maker that I make. But um, yeah, it didn't go as planned due to cell phone bullshit. But yeah. Hey. But now we know, man. You, uh, hey, we always welcome, man. Open That's on. a fact. I appreciate that. I appreciate 100%. that 100. 100%. And anytime y'all drop something, tag me. Y'all know I'm sharing it. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're good with that. So we can go ahead and transition. Uh, so I just realized we didn't ever do this for pre tales. We that? always do it for Yellow Tape and Nightcap. So we're going to end pre tales with this, and then we'll transition over. So we'll see y'all Wednesday. Hold on. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, oh, man. Oh, God, oh, man. Oh, God, oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Let's go.